guys, so in this video I'm going to be herping and I, I do go herping um, a lot and I never really find much but this time I haven't gone herping in a, a few months so I decided that I will take you guys with me and maybe if I found anything I will catch it on camera. So this is what I'm taking, it does have a top and I'm, I am going to put it in a bag just in case when I go herping if I find anything. This if I find any bugs so I can get it for my toads. And then there's this plant, I'll put some paper towels here just in case I find a cool animal. So then I can, they, they'll feel comfortable because they have somewhere to hide like with plants and paper towels and stuff without just being out in the open. I just have some bad news, the 10 gallon did break. Um, I was moving my things around because I just, I did just get this bed hammock, which is really awesome. And when I was moving things around, it fell and it broke, and it was really, I was really upset. But I'm just happy. Nothing, no one was in there. My toads are right there, so they're completely fine. They're probably just waiting for a meal. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go herping. Maybe find some pill bugs, some um, um, other bugs, crickets, maybe. Maybe even some cool reptiles, um, so I'll take you on the way if I do find anything. Alright, hey guys, so right now we're outside, and so I'm in my backyard first. We're going to go herping in back of my backyard, because in, in back of my backyard is like a mountain. So we're going to be looking there first, and looking under some logs, looking under some wood, and maybe we'll find something. And there's my dog, doing I don't know what. Alright, so this is right back of my yard. And first one that's the biggest thing. Don't see anything. Oh, it's all fly. My main goal today is to find a baby snake. I am not if I'm if I I might find lizards and stuff, but I'm not looking for that. Um but who knows what we'll find. Alright, so here's some more stuff. And the main snake that I really want to find is the ring neck snake. I've never seen one in person like ever in my life. And I've really always wanted one. Nothing there. Bunch of gravel. And the heck? I just opened this weird jar. And no idea what this is oh my god wait if i'm not mistaken these are a bunch of fly heads if you look really closely you can kind of see it okay so while i'm harping and back in my yard the sophie gets out and because you don't you guys don't know she probably is pregnant don't be careful sophie there might be snakes big snakes bad snakes She's probably most likely pregnant because the neighbor does have a male beagle. Oh, okay. And the only way she can get back here is she goes through their yard. And she just did that. I caught her in the act too. I don't know how she's going to get back. But, you know, she's a dog. She can find out. She can, she can do this. Okay, I'm recording her. I'm not sure if we can hear her running through the grass. But I'm in my yard right now. I want to see exactly how she gets over here. This is the neighbor's yard. They, they don't have the beagle outside anymore. She's still over there. The neighbor's Sophie's still over there. Dumb, dumb, dog. You a dumb, dumb dog. You know that? I know she can find a way. She's just really distracted because she knows I'm over here. In the actual yard. Can you hear her? Looks like I'm going to have to help her over. This is going to be extremely difficult because I have to climb over there. Sophie. There she is. I have to help over there and then get her. So this herping video just turned into a rescue video, I, I guess. All right, so I just made it over the fence. I'm just gonna put you right here. Probably can't see. All right, you can't really see anything I'm doing, but just in case you can, 
There's Sophie. Sophie, what are you doing? Sometimes you look super skinny and sometimes you look super fat. I don't know how you do it, but you look fat and skinny at the same time. Come here. Sophie. Sophie, this isn't time to eat grass. Come here. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? Go hey puppers. Okay. Oh, I'm like pulled back here. Okay, come on. I don't want to carry you by the stomach because if you have babies, I don't want to kill them. Okay. Okay. Can you balance yourself on this thing? Yeah. I got her across. I'm not too sure if you saw that, but. All right, you okay? I had to basically choke you. No, I'm just kidding, I had to choke her. I grabbed her and her collar, but I did it. How'd you get across, dog? You okay, pupper? Aha, I found a oh, you dog. All right, now if you're here because of the title of finding how I got my dog got pregnant, then you know, you can kick off now because we're going back to her being. But Sophie, get, oh wait, get off. So if you look under this, I don't see anything. Okay. All right, now looking at these blocks and there's normally always an animal under here. Never a snake, as I've always wanted there to be. It's almost like frogs and toads. Just look at this rock. Nothing under there except for a few slugs. But other than that, nothing. All right, now I'm gonna look under this rock. Nothing. Now I'm gonna look under these rocks and then I'll get back to find it. There was nothing under this. All right, now I'm gonna look under this, which is always a toad. Yeah, there's Mama Toad, which is actually the mother of my two baby toads. Just in case you didn't know. Hey guys, so it's about two days later. I didn't find anything that day or the day after. And today, it was very rainy and it was very humid outside. And I went herping to go see if I could find anything. Reptiles are looking for water. Cause it doesn't rain much here. So whenever it does rain, there's a lot of reptiles out and about. And I found, I'm not too sure if he's going to be under here. No, he's not here. Oh, I made that hide. It's just, if you guys are wondering, it's just a little um, toilet paper tube with some non-toxic glue. I'll be very careful because he's just a little hatchling. Oh, there he is. Come here, babies. You can see his little tail. I'm pretty sure if you're already into lizards or reptiles, you know what this is already. Okay. I don't want to get him too stressed. Oh, there he is. I'm just going to show you. This is a very, very baby, baby hatchling blue-tailed skink. I'm not too sure if it's a five-striped skink. I don't think so because it does not have stripes. But for sure, it is a blue Okay, the camera stopped. I'm not too sure when it stopped, but this is a, my baby blue-tailed skink. He's extremely tiny, as you can see. He is in this closure just for now. This is extremely temporary. This is, just, this is just until I can find a better and bigger cage for him. But um, just a quick care on these guys. If you have these, I do not recommend at all getting an adult skink from the wild. I do not recommend it at all. It's extremely bad and can cause depression, anxiety, and can even kill your skink. So please, please, please do not get an adult skink from the wild. If you're going, if you're interested in getting a skink, please get one from a breeder, which we can get from that that they're already used to being 
kept in captivity or get one from outside but as a baby this one as you can see it was just a little 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 hatchling super tiny so it is 100 percent fine doing this because he is not completely used to being out in the wild yet now finding these guys is not too difficult if you know where to search um where i live near my house there's no skinks no skinks no snakes no animals like that and barely any toads but if you want to find these guys, I recommend looking in a, in a pile of leaves or where you see it's very moist and there's lots of, if you see lots of roaches, lots of roly polies, lots of peel bugs, lots of bugs in general, then most likely you'll find some animals there. Because I did find a, a worm snake earlier. I did not record it. I don't know why. I totally forgot. But I did find a worm snake. I don't have it anymore because I did let it free. If I can, I will connect this video to a video of the worm snake. But if I can't, I will probably try to find a video of the worm snake and put it here. So guys, if you are try if you if you are interested in getting this, it's a Petco uh, and it comes with a bunch of crickets, maybe like twenty some crickets, and only five bucks. I think it's a bit more, but sometimes there's a lot of dead ones in there, which is really upsetting. But you, it comes with this little container, so that's really, really good just in case you need a carrier or you need to have a container for herping. Also, while those herping, I did find another animal. I'm not too sure if you can see him right there. It is a little hat. He is right under this plant. As you can see, it's just a very common house gecko, also known as a Mediterranean gecko. Very common. This is also a very, very... Um, uh, this cage is not for long. I got it from an old container. And if it, this is just a window, but it's completely like just temporary. I just got him uh, yesterday while I was herping. And it is a little boy, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to get that roly poly because they do not eat that. They eat moths and stuff. So he really has a bunch of those and they eat crickets. I need to get them crickets, both of these guys. So I would say it's a very good find two lizards, well two geckos, a blue-tailed skink, a Mediterranean gecko, and a worm snake. I think it's a pretty good find. I normally don't find nothing, so I'm really happy about this find. So yeah. Bye!